My name is Russell Zapel. I was in the United States Navy World War II, Navy Air Corps. We flew in the Atlantic and the Pacific, uh, anti-submarine warfare, convoy, escort, and air sea rescue. Um, my name is Judith Carlson. I'm here representing my late father, Norman Berkman. Um, he came into World War II at the end as a spy, um, spying, of course, for America, and went on into the Cold War, uh, during which time he rescued some crown jewels from the Russian sector, actually helped smuggle them back in and give them to the lady they belonged to. And as long as I'm here, um, there are people who never made it back. Warren Anderson never made it back from Vietnam. I wear his bracelet proudly. His plane was shot down April uh, 19, what, 1966. Jerry Levin, uh, a happy note, my wife's birthday, she's sitting over there with yesterday, and this is her party. salute <laughs> 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 to all the fellas that are here and all that are not here. Uh, my name is John Begaiski. I served uh, with the United States Army in Korea. Uh, in uh, 56 and 57 off the DMZ. Mike McNulty, I was in the United States Marine Corps in 1966 to 67. I was an engineer in Vietnam. Uh, we we swept mines, swept roads for mines and uh, fortified locations, built bridges. Thank you. Uh, Charles Jacobs. Uh, I was in the Navy from November of 1943 to um, May of 1946. I served in both the Atlantic and the Pacific. My ship was USS Sims. My name is Sam Schechter. I served in Korea in 1951. I was a um, mechanic, but uh, did all kinds of things. And we uh, was in a mass unit. We got the uh, wounded and torn up bodies right off the front line. Uh, the more severe were sent further to the rear. Uh, we um, served in North Korea, then South Korea, depending on uh, which way the lines were. Uh, excuse me. My name is Milton Langer. I was in during the Korean War. I was fortunate in one way. I was actually in Verdun, France in 53 and 54. Uh, we set up radio communications as a radio officer to uh, possibly keep the Russians, or at least keep the uh, non-combatants from being destroyed by the Russians if they actually went into Western Europe. And I stayed in the military, stayed in the army, and I retired uh, uh, a few years back, quite a few years back. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bob Lavery. I served in the United States Air Force uh, for four years and was stationed over in Munich, Germany for 39 months. Glad to be here, thank you. My name is Ray Rich. I'm a former Marine. I made the landing on Guadalcanal in 1942, the first offensive we went on. At Guadalcanal, I contact malaria. And that's about the end of the story. <laughs> My name is Matthew Potocek. I spent three years overseas. I was in the 475th Combat Unit. All I did was fight the Japs every day until they dropped the atomic bomb and Captain Cavill says, Matt, we did it. The war is over. <coughs> Hi, my name is Thomas Vanna. I was in Korea in 69 and 70. 
uh, 13 months I spent uh, on the DMZ. I was a medic. Thank you very much. I'm a big fan. I had the privilege of serving with the Marine Raiders. And uh, all I can say is that they're the greatest bunch of men I ever knew. I regret that so many of them didn't come back. But uh, I just, God was so generous to bring me back and uh, give me 52 offspring, 10 children, 28 grandchildren, and 14 great grandchildren. <laughs> the miracle is that they're all healthy and good people. And I thank God and all of you people for your support. Hello, my name is Donald Spitzer. I served with, uh, in China with the Flying Tigers in intelligence. Um, that's about it. Hi, everybody. My name is Al Lee. Forgive me, forgive me for not standing, but I enlisted in October 1941. Never did regret it. And I enlisted in the uh, Air Force. I was fortunate enough to be assigned to the mighty 8th Air Force. And I was a uh, crew chief on a B-24 bomber. I was one of the guys that uh, helped uh, keep him flying. My name is Art Shapiro. I was in World War II with the 990s Sickle Service Battalion in Europe. <clears throat> My name is Al Comer. I enlisted in the Air Force in, in 1943 and served till 1945. I graduated as a bombardier. My name is Irv Abramson. Uh, I enlisted when I was 17. I don't know where my head was at that time. <laughs> and uh, uh, my 18th year was spent fighting uh, in France and Germany. Finally wound up in, uh, with, I was with the 100th uh, Infantry Division. I finally wound up in Belgium uh, at the Battle of the Bulge and uh, was uh, blown up by an, a German artillery shell at that time. Went back to a mass hospital where they uh, were putting soldiers back together again with uh, whatever they had at hand, rubber bands paper clips, and uh, they saved uh, many a life, including mine, and I spent uh, my 19th year in hospitals through Europe and the U.S. Uh, recovering from those wounds, And uh, but I was one of the lucky ones, and uh, I'm here to talk about it. I'm uh, Dr. Walliger. I went in the service uh, after I finished my medical training and I was uh, sent to North Africa. Uh, I started in Palestine and we were uh, with a heavy bomb group, B-24s, B-17s, and we were the backup for the British 8th um, Army in the, during the Rommel campaign. And uh, we. We went across the desert as far as Tripoli, and then Eisenhower came in from the other side and bottled them up, and he sur uh, Rommel surrendered after that. Uh, I came back to the States and went to Europe with a 40th Evac Hospital, a mass unit, uh, and uh, we followed Patton uh, along the uh, France and Germany. And fortunately, got back safe and everything's okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Irv Blazinski. I was in the uh, Coast Guard from 1942 and I was in Cas. I started in Casablanca and ended up in China. That's all I have to say. 
I'm Jack Weimer, Company D, 410th Infantry, in Europe, had a very, very wonderful career, just staying alive and making sure that the other side was not alive. I did what I could, I did what I had to do, I'm proud, and I'm proud of everybody else who did their job too. Um, Matthew Waitastic, World War II veteran from 1942 to 1945. I served with the 82nd Airborne Division as a glider trooper, and come January, I'll be 91 years old. Glenn DeFabio, Army, Korea 51-52, 2nd Infantry Division, 23rd Infantry Regiment. I was a mortar gun crew chief, ended up as a supply sergeant. Thank you. Uh, Niels Larson, U.S. Army, 424th Field Artillery Battalion, Korea, 1951-1952, up in the Iron Triangle. Uh, thank you for having this for us each year. I'm Walter Timchuk. I've been in, in the Army six months, and I was involved in the invasion of Normandy and spearheaded for Patton all the way to Belgium, Luxembourg. And when we ran out of gas, they shipped us to Italy, and we fought to Italy trips. When the Battle of Bulls broke out, I got hurt and I came home. Thank you. Bob Morris, Korean War veteran through a quirk of fate. I spent two years protecting Southern California, Northern Washington, and Alaska. My name is Bernie Warshall. I was with the 13th Armored Division. Uh, it was referred to as the Black Cat Division or Hell on Wheels. We were one of the armored divisions that uh, were under Patton. Patton had three armored divisions and they did most of the spearheading. Uh, Patton was a pretty rough character. Uh, we started at the Battle of the Bulge and we finished up at the Hitler's home. That's it. <laughs>